This is Susie Menkes in Paris with Lady Gaga at the Mugler Show for the International Herald Tribune and the New York Times. The collaboration between Lady Gaga and Nicola Formichetti is rejuvenating the brand of Mugler. And when Lady Gaga walked to the runway in the Paris collections, it caused a moment of tension and excitement. Nicola, your great moment was tonight Thank for you. Thierry Mugler. So you designed the collection and you got your friend and... My best friend. Best yeah, friend. collaborator. To do it. Did you collaborate on the collection, or was it the collaboration of the style and presentation? No, from the beginning, you know, we uh, for, even from the start of the collection, you know, when we when we, um, it's like when we do everything, right? When you we know work what? On videos. I don't. I don't want Nicola to give me credit for anything because he's so sweet. But to be honest, just quite naturally, um, my collaboration with Nicola on the clothes is the same as his collaboration with me on the music just really close and we're both really creative. We spend a lot of time together so uh, we share ideas all the time and it's not business related, it's just purely artistic and I'm so proud of what he created. But you're both much too young to know Thierry Mugler and what he meant back in the 1980s. No. No, we're not. No. <laughs> that is where you are wrong. <laughs> Mugler is was was and is my lifestyle. What Nicola represents is my lifestyle. So much about my new album is about how this culture the, of glamour, of life as a glamorous life, as, as as your bones and your blood. This is part of who I am, and that culture is not dead. Nicola represents all of that. <laughs> and is the idea that these clothes are transformative, that they change the lives of people, the way they dress, the eye makeup, everything? I saw with the models today. They just became, you know, um, like so uber humanly, isn't it? They just, you know, besides the fact that they became superstars when they put the clothes on, <laughs> you know, I was at the fitting with all the girls and watching them all, fun. and they, as soon as they put the clothes on, as women, you could just tell they felt really sexy and really beautiful and really fierce. And Nicola, tell me, you had this guy in the show that you also had a men's nuclear line. Rico. He, with the tattoos absolutely all over. Where did you find him? I found him on, um, on Facebook, actually, and I just went, oh my God. And I showed it to her and she was like, oh. oh my God. <laughs> it's yeah. truly amazing. And, um, it's also a testament to the integrity of Nicola and again his lack of pretension as a designer in the fashion world. Uh, uh, Rico was um, not where he is now and Nicola plucked him from where he was and helped him to uh, move forward with his career and uh, it really makes me just uh, think about uh, the good nature of people uh, in a different way. Nicola is just a really good person and it's amazing Thank to have you. someone like that in fashion. Thank you. Of course, a lot of this Thierry Mugler revival is all about the fragrance. Do you think, Lady Gaga, you'll ever have a fragrance of your own? You I do have one coming out. And can you tell us about that? What's it going to smell of? Um, it's actually, um, I, it, it's a smell of many different things. I don't want to <laughs> give too much away, but I will say that I, um, I took a sample of my own blood and extracted the molecular structure and the scent of that and injected it into the perfume uh, uh, so that it would smell like and feel like me. Is fashion, should fashion, be all about performance? Hmm. No. no. <laughs> I love you. No. Fashion can mean anything. It, it's about self-expression. It's about love. freedom, love, <laughs> togetherness. Lady Gaga and Nicola, thank you so much for thank talking you so much. to the International Health mm -hmm. Thank you. And you can't buy me a glare because I bought the whole collection already. <laughs>